Testing one, two. What's up guys? I wanted to make this video to test out a tool that I've been using, which is really cool. It's called Adobe AI. In a click of a button, it'll take audio that sounds like this and it'll make it sound pretty clean for the most part. So you take a scene like this. I'm in a hotel right now. There's a swimming pool. There's a waterfall going. There's a music in the background. Yeah, it's not the greatest situation to, to film or capture audio in. There are some situations where you shouldn't use this and obviously you should always get your audio clean and correct on the day of filming uh, and not lean on the products like this to fix your audio in post. But in a pinch, if you need it and what you have is just not working, maybe if you're a one man band who doesn't have the best audio setup, one, try to get the mic as close as possible. So what I'm doing here, I uh, just am recording from my phone and then I have a Rode video mic go on my camera. Now the camera is about six feet away from me. So that So a funny side note, as I'm editing this, if you put in audio that is terrible and you can't hear the voice, it get, it starts to sound a little crazy. This three way is out is without phone. This so of course, make sure you get your audio right when you're filming, make sure your voice is clear before putting it into this audio software. So when you use this tool, basically what it's doing is analyzing the audio that you input and kind of recreating a voice, a robotic AI voice essentially that matches your voice. It's kind of creepy, but it's pretty cool to experiment with. So just to recap some of the other drawbacks of this program, one is still in beta, so there are some limitations to how you can use it. There's a 500 megabyte limit on your file size, and you can only upload once per hour. Another drawback is that there's no slider adjustment to adjust the intensity of the noise reduction. The way I get around this is by blending in the natural audio with the AI audio. So there's a good balance between the natural ambience and the voiceover audio. This tool is specifically for podcasts, but it could be used for a lot of different things. One, always try to find the quietest location possible in order to get the content that you need. Use the right equipment. Obviously, I don't have the right equipment on this trip, but I would in a situation where I was being hired out to film something or if I'm on a professional set. So this use case is more so for solo creators, people who don't have a full crew at their disposal or don't have a professional sound mixer. Again, it is not a replacement for those things, it's a tool that could be used to help out when you need it.